Hello, everybody. Unfortunately, we don't have a Dino Charge episode to comment on this week. It's been uh, pushed off until the 12th. For some reason, even though it already aired in France on the 30th, so we're going instead to a uh, movie that's tangentially related to Power Rangers. As you remember, the last, uh, the last irregular episode I had of Power Rangers uh, commentary was on the uh, fan, the first episode of the fan-made MMPR series. Now they haven't released another one, unfortunately. So, uh, now let's just go ahead and talk about this movie here. It's called Blood Punch. Kind of a weird name, but we'll we'll get to that. Anyways, I was scrolling through my Twitter feed one day, and I saw that there was this movie called Blood Punch, and it was attached to some pictures of the actors from Power Rangers RPM. Now, some of you may know, Power Rangers RPM is my favorite iteration of Power Rangers. I hold it up as the gold standard to which I judge all other Power Rangers series by. And uh, I went ahead and I looked at that. I saw the uh, trailer and they were talking about, you know, uh, getting up on the iTunes charts and whatnot. And so I was going to pre-order the movie on iTunes. And in fact, I talked about this on the Command of Cold Steel. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to actually get a hold of the movie because iTunes wouldn't load up. But fortunately, I was able to contact them via Facebook, and uh, they sent me a screener of the movie. Now, let's just go ahead and back up here. I had to load up... The new update of Chrome sucks. I had to load up the uh, Power Rangers wiki to find when the next episode of Dino Charge is supposed to be up. Anyways, Blood Punch is a horror thriller film from 2013. It was released... On the 26th of October at the Austin Film Festival in Austin, Texas. And it has since won eight awards. Excuse me. And it runs for 104 minutes. It's just now gotten its release on video on demand earlier this week. It was released on the 1st. And, uh,. But I've been seeing that critical and viewer reception is positive for the for Blood Punch, and you know it stars three of three of the members of the RPM cast. You've got Milo Cawthorn from uh, RPM, who played Ziggy Grover as one of the main characters. His wife Olivia Tenet, who played Doctor K as Skyler, and uh, Ari Boyland, who played Flynn, Flynn McAllister is uh, in it as well. I don't know who some of these other people are. Or Adelaide Kane, isn't it? Uh, apparently Adelaide Kane was also in The Purge. I have absolutely no I I haven't seen The Purge. I have absolutely no idea who... <laughs> who uh, Adelaide Kane is. I don't know who Fleur or Seville is either. But, uh, I've been letting this buffer. I'm watching it in HD. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. And these guys, I really like, like their performance on RPM. I, I was willing to support them, but unfortunately I couldn't. But, uh, you know, here's hoping that I can give them some, uh, some publicity when I put this video up and when I put up my review on my website because this is going to be Sunday's review subject. So let's go. I'm just going to hit play here and letting it buffer. I tried watching a... I didn't watch... I haven't watched any significant bit. I just watched a little bit of it to try and gauge how the, uh, how the video looked in HD and SD and I prefer it in HD. Let's just make this full screen here. Make sure I'm still... Yes, we're recording. Good. I 
I like how these guys look like they haven't aged at all. That crossbow should not be cocked up on the wall. Oh, you look like you've had a rough night, buddy. Time for a bath with all my clothes on. Uh, or... That's not creepy at all. <laughs> that looks like a security camera. I'm thinking this is a horror movie. Um Oh god. Oh god, the video is stuttering. Just had to pause that for a minute there. He's still got his fingers. What the hell just happened? I know I'm watching Blood Punch. Uh. I'll the, I guess I'll use a screenshot of that for the thumbnail. Is it? Because I'm kind of wondering what's going on. God. Why is this sputtering? I let it load for a while. I guess we're flashing back now? Oh, God. Okay. I figured this was going to happen, so I'm just going to go ahead and play it off my hard drive. Because I figured if I was going to be streaming it, it was going to be having some issues if I was streaming it in HD. And it looks better on the web, but you know, it took me a while to figure out Okay, we're at 411. Just forward to that. As I figured that was, we we're going to have some kind of issue. Let's try and get to where we're supposed to be. Four. Uh, okay, we're back at 405. Never believed these guys were from New Zealand. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Is he going to start performing magic tricks? And how old are you now? Oh, God. None of you guys really look like that, like you'd think. Well, that was cool. Okay, wasn't expecting that. That's messed up. Go go ask Walter White. I think he lives down the street. Why is she in here with these guys wearing the regular clothes when the rest of these guys all have gray sweatshirts on? I think Walter White needs some to treat his cancer. Okay, this is kind of weird. Well, she can act. Because I would not have expected this out of Dr. K. <laughs> Stop it, dude. Milton could probably go into organized crime. <laughs> okay, then. What?
Where do you keep getting these cigarettes and matches from? Same place the Power Ranger suits come from, I suppose. Okay. This is all kinds of messed up. little bit less so because I know that's his real life wife but still Milo Cawthorn I'm here to talk to you about the Avengers initiative <laughs> Making her own argument for her. One day. What are you guys going to do? Use his teleporter powers to rob a bank. That's a good question. Oh, so we're going to be making a deal with Mephisto. I thought only Spider-Man could do that. Oh. Why? Well, that's some... I could have sworn those sound effects came from Doom. I really think you can stop Flynn McAllister or an angry Scotsman? This is surreal. Um...
feeling a little bit creeped out by this. Yeah, that sounds like it comes from the General 9000 sound effects collection, but don't quote me on that. Buddy, somebody's shooting at me. I don't blame you for going and hiding. How the hell did those get broken? Wow. Yeah, that's that's Flynn. Ari Boylan from RPM. Bipolar disorder much? He's not. <laughs> Do you maybe want to let Melton drive? Only this is really dangerous. Ultra freaking dangerous. Dude, Russ, Russ, let it go. Milton, don't say anything else. I certainly hope so. It's because I was watching the their video for this and I was seeing them speak in their New Zealand accents and I it's like I know uh Dr. K and Ziggy and their American accents and uh you know Ari speaking in his Scottish accent and but seeing Seeing him speak in an American accent, wow. Why? 
Wait until you've got the cash. Because you're bigger than he is, stronger than he is, the fact that you have the gun, Russ, what are you going to give him a gun now? Well, that guy's freaking nuts. Sweet collection of axes you got there, buddy. Bear trap. Yeah, this is that song that's in everything. Yep, that's a green dot sight. Sounds like they just made up words to put on some stock music, but eh. Oh, sweet looking knife, buddy. Stick the gun in your belt. Um, okay, that's one hell of a headline. What do we do? Just walk into the set of Resident Evil. And these guys gonna get eaten up by a bunch of freaking Cerberuses. Actually, that would make sense. Because that would make them the campers that got killed. Eh, he prefers a sword. That was a little bit of a bad cut, but... Eh, not a whole lot.
So you're like a bizarro Dirty Harry. Russ, Russ, you're freaking me out here, buddy. <laughs> then why'd you bring it up? Then why did you bring it up? Okay. Yeah. What? What? Are we gonna do some weird shit with the apple? Shooting it off her head or something? That's why he left that gun over there. Well, that's one way to put it. I just, I hate to criticize sound design here, here, because the rest of the movie is really good so far, but... You couldn't get better gun sound effects. Huh. There we go. That works. Hang on. Okay, we're back. Uh, we're at the 20, 2916 mark. Oh, and uh, found out who Adelaide Kane is. She played Tanaya 7 in uh, Power Rangers RPM. Can't believe I forgot that, but... Because uh, I actually did do pre-research before I started recording. I guess I just forgot it all. Anyways, let's go ahead and we're back at the 2916 mark. Good question. Yeah, that's kind of vague. Uh, 
Adam Sandler's mother and the water boy said that everything was the devil, so. What are you doing here, buddy? Okay, that's a that's a weird metaphor. Yeah, he spiked it with Coyote. Do you want to maybe borrow the Megazord from Dr. K? from yourself. I'm turning the volume up. Okay. <laughs> I've never heard of that tribe but who knows So, trillions upon trillions. Or friend. What the... Uh, um, is everybody just high, or is that? What the hell was that? I hope it's over. Jesus. So we're back at the beginning of the movie, or... Or are we just at a different point in time? Guess we're at a different point in time.
That still doesn't explain why your fingers grew back after getting chopped off. That's debatable. The music just made a serious shift. Maybe don't put that in your back pocket, buddy. It's gonna fall out. There we go. Get the Bunsen burner going. And now Crazy Man starts chopping wood. Oh, good. This is going to be all weird, isn't it? Told you it was going to fall out of your pocket. Jesus. Some of these sound effects are just weird. They could have probably recorded better ones on set. No sound effect would have been better. Well, he's got superhuman precision. So I guess he's already been affected by the T-Virus. Gun's not loaded, is it? <laughs> Jesus, what was that? Or not. Your ears not looking so good there, Milton. And, uh, Russ, your face isn't either. Oh, 
That's what the crossbow was for. you guys gonna do now? You know, that's a very shallow grave. He's gonna be found. Okay, what the hell was that? Is everybody still high? You're missing the grave! Milton, none of that dirt is going into the grave. So wait, how much of that actually happened and how much was he just hallucinating? And the summary really does not do this justice. Because it makes it seem really, really kind of shallow. I mean, not that I wanted to read this summary, but you know, it was just kind of there on Wikipedia page. I'm just trying to figure out who was, who all was in the movie. Holy crap. That's a good question. <laughs> Had to take a quick drink of water there. He's going to go out there and shoot Russ, isn't he? Or try and dig up the grave. just find the arrow or an arrow
But the tarp's not there. Nor is the body. Is it? Holy shit. Russ. Russ, come out here a minute. I want to show you something. <laughs> I mean, I know you're freaking crazy, but... Uh, <laughs> You know, maybe, maybe you're, uh, crazy, crazy crap story will help us sort this out. That's a good question. That's a reasonable demand, but... Eh. Well, that's one day down. Is that a shotgun blast? Oh, bear trap. Holy crap. That's a lot of blood for a bear trap. Not well. Okay, then. No, you're you're stuck in a glitch in the matrix. That's the significance of the whole Tuesday thing. That looks like blood on the barrel of the gun, but... That works! <laughs> gonna make a pile of corpses. God only knows why there's three of them there. That's a good question. <laughs> well, I think it's time for Time Force.
call Wes and his crew and see if they can sort this out. Or maybe the doctor. That's not a bad idea. I mean, if we're stuck in Groundhog Day, might as well keep trying. Got some peyote, got some weapons. <laughs> what the hell? That's not even how those guns are supposed to fire. How does... The peyote. Try taking some peyote. This is just comical at this point. Not that I'm complaining, I like it. <laughs> Ready to be civil there, Russ? Nice looking shears there, buddy. That's an advantage of being able to keep the corpses. Why did you draw pie in his skin?
Excuse me. Okay, this is... That sounds like flies. Why are you holding the gun on her? Explain. What's going on here? Okay. Where's the rest of this stuff? Oh dear. So what's going on? So she's been through this loop more than they have. You know, she won't remember this. You might as well try and shoot her now. Figure out what it's about. So this has been going on for... Well, if I wanted to rewind, I could probably figure out how long. But I don't. This is like that thing at the start of the of the uh, consuming shadow website.
Except he decided not to shoot himself because apparently somebody clicked on his face hard enough. Oh, and it's Tuesday again. Going through the same steps over and over again. Funny thing is, nobody will ever know how many times you guys have tried and kill yourselves as a team, but... She wouldn't have remembered that entire day if you'd just killed her there. I've fired one of those. You cannot fire that with one hand. So you just have to not kill each other. <laughs> Scott. Wes. <laughs> That's a good question. So you're going to cook it? and head for the hills. As long as they spill blood, which means you need to take him with you alive. But, eh. Maybe not. Doesn't have the Ford logo on there, just Interceptor. But no, seriously, call Time Force. They'll help you out. Well, well, they might not help you out if they find out you're freaking crazy, but... It'd be better than nothing. <laughs> Oh, and Flynn can freeze time, too, so. But the world's not destroyed, so RPM didn't come into existence. So there's a club inside the hangar.
Hi, Tanaya. Yeah, her fingers become guns. I actually preferred it with the lights on, thanks, but whatever. It's kind of trippy in here. Yeah, no, we need to take a plane out of here real quick. Just fly us to Canada. They're going to get killed, aren't they? Now you know his name. I'm pretty sure they have enough explosives to level the place. Bitch, he was in the Mafia. Yeah, because as it is, this is just bleeps and bloops. Oh, you're not... You're not going to change the music. You're just turning it up.
Things are gonna go south real soon, aren't they? What? Okay, I was right. Not very good at your aim there, are ya? That was good thinking. What the hell are you guys shooting at? It's like two different... How are you guys not hitting anybody? Whoever was on sound effects there needed to step up. Because they missed a couple for that gunfight. Okay. Um, what the hell? And they just get back to the gangland war. They left the gun behind. Well, one of them's severely injured. Well, you probably will in the future. Because I'm beginning to doubt you're going to get out of this day alive. Or at all. Show us outside the car, please. Come on. She's bleeding too, I guess. Well, I have a feeling neither of them are going to remember this. I don't think your radio in the car will reach that far. No, you... Both of you are gonna die right here and... not remember it until at least one of you survives. Dash cam. Ah. Oh. How did it get so dark? That's just weird.
Hmm. What the? What's going on here? Everything's frozen. Okay, the video's messed up there a minute. Holy crap. You are now. Because, uh, Russ is going to find you. <laughs> okay, that was pretty cool. But seriously, try taking him with you guys for once. Holy... What the hell? There is not this much blood in the human body. There is no way that much blood would leak out of a single bullet wound. Try taking him with you and then killing him once you're off a ch uh, chat. What the hell? Whatever the hell kind of land this is. Satchatory, I think it is. Catchatory, whatever. Dash cam. That effect is really out of place. Russ Flores. At least he's tapping on the right buttons. It's getting to... So that's still... Whoa! So there, it's November 12th for them. 
somewhere in the order of four th 44,000 hours logged, I think I saw there. So you can take that out of there and hook it back up and you'll have another one the next day. And you can essentially just put them all over the house because, well, it's the same principle as the dead bodies. Everything resets. Don't let it be Russell, please. Try not killing anybody today, shall we? You are. Try not killing anybody for a day. <laughs> now I've had the time of my life. That's a good point. There's no time for us, there's no place for us. What is this thing that builds our dreams, yet slips away from us? Who wants to live forever? Who wants to live forever? There's no chance for us It's all decided for us This world has only one sweet moment Set aside for us Who wants to live forever? Who wants to live forever? I'm wondering what's holy. One bullet. One bullet that's been there for 44,000 hours. What are you going to do with it? That's the question.
You shot him in the frickin' neck? Yeah. You're gonna wake up tomorrow and it's gonna be a freaking Tuesday. She's just going to be, uh, killed by Archer. What the? I thought that would have reset itself. I mean, everything else did. Wonder what these guys were thought about when they uh, found all their dead bodies. Well, that was weird. What do you think? gonna go to sleep and it's gonna be a Tuesday <laughs> yeah look over did you see that thing on the right this is a non-smoking room yeah that sign on the nightstand Just as I suspected. Not expected.
Jesus. Ow. And here comes Russell to kill both of them. <sighs> Please don't let Russ be the one to get out alive. Excuse me. Because he remembers it now. What are you doing here? Oh, we're playing Russian Roulette here. You can hide those in there. Can you hide lock picks too? I mean, she looks like she should be able to s pop her hands out of those. Oh, God.
we got. Oh, now it's Wednesday. So, was this place built near Silent Hill or something? Because... I kept telling you, you should have called Time Force. Oh my god, we're gonna be through this shit again. Why bother with the silencer? You're in the middle of nowhere. Well, that was one hell of a movie. I have absolutely no idea what I should say about this movie. Wow. I'm just going to check and make sure. Yeah, we're still recording. Man, oh man. This is really weird. Like this this song here. You know, the singer's got his voice all messed up electronically. That's a hell of a last name there, buddy. Cast in order of appearance. Well, that, you know, that's, that's one way to spend an afternoon, you know. Man, oh man, that was, huh. Freaking crazy.
Another guy who has a hell of a last name. Special effects were pretty good, and the the music was good, too. And the big issue was the sound effects. Because, uh... They weren't using the best sound effects you could, but... In certain cases, it did add to the, uh, well, let's say the atmosphere of the movie. Huh. Some of these... Huh. Well, Olivia Tina's got a pretty good voice. Because she was singing the, uh, some of that music over top of, uh, some Kevin MacLeod tracks. <laughs> nice little touch at the end there. Okay, yep, there's nothing at the end. Oh, wow, now that was, uh, that was Blood Punch. The, uh... Title doesn't have a whole lot to do with anything, but uh, it's a good movie. <laughs> Holy crap! I mean, that was like a, a, a weirdo version of a Groundhog Day. It's like if you mashed Groundhog Day and Silent Hill together, you know. I mean, man. Oh. Mm. This deserves the awards it got. I mean, this... This movie deserved to be... To be a... A, a blockbuster. But, uh, and, and you know, it all, it, it deserves to, to make it to number one on the, on the iTunes charts. I mean, man, oh man. I, I mean, that, that last little scene towards the end with the, uh, with the shootout, that was a little bit rough, but. I think this is a good candidate for movie of the year. And this has been a great showing of movies this year too. Man, oh man. This is one of those good movies where you're like exhausted after you finish watching it. And I I took a break in the middle. Not on purpose, but I, I had to. Because there was some stuff going on, I had to pause the recording, but... Uh, man, oh man. And if this ever comes out on DVD, I'm going to be first in line to get it, because this was... This was great. Uh, I mean, these guys... These guys get a, did a great job. Yeah, uh, tune in tomorrow for my review. I mean, if you guys have been watching it, you know, eh. yeah, I'm going to be reviewing this movie tomorrow. So, uh, i got to sign off now. i got to record the Command of Cold Steel if I have anything to talk about at all. So, um, thanks for listening, if you guys have. And, uh, we'll see you guys, well, hopefully soon, uh, might not be 
you know, it might be tomorrow when I get the podcast out. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, Alex Shannon signing off. And uh, kudos to uh, Bluff Road Productions. You guys did an amazing job.